So where do I start? I've been in every role in Siege. I've, I've played literally every op in the game in Pro League. During high school, I was living with my mom and playing Siege. That was when I was like, okay, I could actually like play this game. So I moved to my dad's and then like played all the way up until like we made LAN with Flipside. Do you know what an artist and a sniper have in common? Hey. You're good, man. I was just waiting for Grant to pull out the vacuum cleaner Zach wants, Zach wants hey, content. Hey, remember, you gotta lead by example. You gotta be better with content. We're not allowed to bitch. Camera's rolling. You just do your thing. I definitely am so amped to be filmed doing bitch work. I don't mind doing it. Bitches do bitch work. But, oh, oh, let's put this on YouTube. Grant's the bitch. Someone has to be, and it's not gonna be me. No, I no. Someone has to be, and I am. I'm fine serving that role. But this, oh man, this is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll uh, I'll help. Huh? We're good. Let's get a vacuum. We we'll get some shit to wipe shit down. And so. And then we're gonna have to make a run to Target. I mean, like, we'll ha Nick will Nick will have to go tomorrow anyway. Like, there's gonna be something. We want it to be moving ready, though. Oh, okay, I, I got you. We want, we want to impress him. I feel like you just have a crush on him, and you just want to, you just want to excuse the text him. You got a little crush on him. On NJ? Yeah. Nick, we call him Nick. NJR. We're first name team. Well, I don't know him yet, so he's NJR until I see him play. I want to know what the J stands for. John. It's the only name that starts with J. But that's the only one. That's the only one. Jason. I'm feeling a Josh. 
Josh. Or Joshua. He's from Kentucky. Nick. Nicholas. James. It's James. I got a couple uh, death threats. Did you? Yeah. Wait, what? You? Yeah. Wait, why? Because I've known that for a long time. Who, who threatened to kill you? Random people? Yeah, of course, random What they said? You messaged me. I was uh, like, sad to you. Just something like, it should have been you, you fat f. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah. It got pretty heated. That's probably right? super burners. <laughs> you can't help but look at the Reddit comments and it gets to you after a while. It's, it's very stressful. Um, but I, you know, since then, obviously, I've one, learned to like not look at that and two, um, you know, just contribute whatever I can to the team. People need to realize, like, I, I, this isn't how it went down, but hypothetically, the roster has changed. Like, like if we wanted to outrule you, like, we could out, outrule you too. Yeah. Like, obviously, we wouldn't do that, but people on the outside need to realize, like, you're not the... It's not like I make the schedule. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's not like how it was three years ago or whatever, where, like, you know, I've pretty much made every decision. Yeah. Like, orbs now own everything. A lot of people publicly don't really understand the full reason why we like over Matt. Obviously, you know, he's an amazing player, but we kind of just wanted to go in a different direction with the team. We wanted someone who's a little bit more frag oriented and kind of just like fit the role. You know, ever since I've been in pro league, since the very, very beginning, even before season one, I've kind of had like my hand-picked players, you know, I've been been the captain the entire time and was able to choose everyone I've ever, you know, ever wanted a team with. My philosophy has always been like, get great teammates and you know, you can be successful. And I guess like, it for me, for those five years, you know, I was teaming with like a lot of the same people. Most notably, obviously, hot and cold. And releasing Matt was, that definitely, definitely hurt. Uh, he was one of my best friends in the scene. You know, a lot of these guys are friends of mine as well, but it's like, yeah, you know, how do you, how do you not see someone after you've, you know, been teaming for five years? Calvin and Nick in my car. On the way back? Definitely. Whose dog is this? Whose dog is this? Uh, Henry's. Oh, fuck, buddy. That's awkward, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I offer my teammates here, you know, good old Hyper Eclipse coffee every single day. Literally every single day. And one time these guys get coffee, they don't even offer me. They're like, oh, you weren't upstairs. Okay, bullshit. I text y'all every day. Every single day about coffee. And I, I, the amount of times I picked up coffee for someone on this team just to not ever get offered, that's bullshit. I'm looking for a new team. If y'all want a, a professional coffee runner, that also likes to play Smoke and Buck or Habana, you let me know, because I'm in. I'm sick of these fake ass teammates.
so far, I think I've gotten pretty accustomed to the house. I'm pretty comfortable around everyone now. I think I'm settled in pretty well. In terms of preparing for the season, I think we put a lot of work in. I've definitely gained some good habits from this team. I think this team has really kicked my motivation up and I've found new ways to better myself. So the, the roster feels in a much more natural spot, something that's a little bit more workable. I mean, we have a lot of work to do it's on, on, a, on a team level, making sure everyone feels good, making sure we're leaning into the strengths as a team and as players and we're not stuck in our ways. But as far as Nick is a player, I mean, he's extremely well-rounded. He's mature. He has all the talent in the world. I mean, everyone likes him. He's getting along with everybody. He's been fantastic, more than we could have asked for. Jason got a party for us with like, like, they, like, like a with like just, benches just, all around. Yeah, you just get a. They got the you just get a free. shuttle service, and it's, they just crack the. Oh, and it just happened that TSM gets the best one. Hey, if you're gonna win, you get some shit. If you want a party bus, we can win. Hey, Calvin. So I don't have a lot to say. I think I probably just gonna start off talking about the match. I'm a dirty. I'm a dirty. I'm a dirty. I'm a dirty. Okay. The practice area upstairs has always been so hot. Like we've had to get multiple fans and air conditioner unit things and we keep the door cracked at night when it gets colder. And so we go to practice area or to like the, the stage area and it's freezing. I could like barely feel my hands. And I'm sitting there with no hoodie and I play with a hoodie usually, so. Them here. They're gonna try to swing in through the main door and push themselves into showers. That could be a problem for them. There's the first cutoff from Hot, but he fails to account for the players moving in for the main door. He'll be immediately traded out by Skies. Everything Ooh. falls to the defenders, and they're gonna win it out on the in -name. Dark Zero stuck outside still, but Dream finally with a first strike takes down Mint. The Flame Nades come in, but Hyper's made the play. He forces his will into base, takes down two. Skies cleans up the mess. Hyper pressuring stalls right now. Has one inside of Beer he has to worry about, but Hot and Cold gets the frag from outside. Hyper flips back, takes down the player inside a lobby, but he's the only remaining member on Dark Zero. And after Dream takes him down, they need to not only pick him up, but they need to get him actually into the site. Skies with a solo play of his own. Takes the frag, SMG 11 in hand, and he whips Nyx down. Nice frag, and all of a sudden, it's down to Mint to try and keep them away from victory. Dream on the plant, able to secure that. Mint gets a frag, but not before Nyx shuts him down. Has a chance, but it doesn't look like it's going to go too well until he takes down NJR. Could possibly get another, but some great plays here from Mint. Focus on other things. Benji now forcing his way up the VIP hallway. Takes down one, but he can't find Mint, who's laying down inside of the couches. Hotton gets one can he get the second they have the comms five seconds remaining smg 11 in hand can he possibly do it for mirage no he can't which has plagued both of our teams so far in this map have to try and brute force it in down goes hyper sky's the only player that's left here now trying to make a play but it's not gonna happen as nix gets both of the finalizing kills there and we're going the full distance as we get ready to head into round number 15 and there's no changing that this is gonna go down to a 4v4 and they are remember on castle does have that secondary shotgun so we 
He's gonna open up some utility usage here. Skies with the Nitro will take out one, but not loading, finds the response. Benji holds the line at the door, but fails to account for the cool vibe player. And Hyper responds back. Another Nitro Cell kill has left Nyx as the final what? player alive, and Hyper is gonna shut him down as well. Dark Zero, take the 15th round, end the map and match along with it. It was fun talking shit on land. It's been a long time. I think Mirage honestly looked a lot better than I thought they would too. Could have just been because they were playing against us. I don't know. Let's we'll see later in the season. Honestly, we expected Mirage to kind of hit us with with something weird because we know Christian and I feel like he he wanted to like surprise us or or something. We went in thinking they were gonna try to take us to the best map and like hard counter us and. They ended up taking us to Coastline, which is a very good map for us. Our attacks so far have dropped. So if we can get our attacks even on par, I think we'll be pretty damn strong across the map. I mean, it sucks to like lose a bunch of attacks, but I think, I think Matt, Matt kind of knew where to take some of the fights. Like there was one round where the entire Mirage got just flooding sight and things were kind of getting crazy. And it was super like high intensity, but Nick was giving me like super like precise and calm callouts about where the last guy was. I learned a lot of things from that game, despite maybe not being the best first showing for me. I think I helped the team in ways that didn't show on the scoreboard or in the stats. I don't think he's he's shown his full full uh, potential yet. I think he's like the single most talented player, like potential-wise, in, in pro league right now. I think eventually he's gonna be one of the greats of the game. Definitely. Half the game, they did what they, we thought they would do, right? They got aggressive. A lot of things to learn from it. Good job, boys. What it pulls out, though. Subscribe to the Dark Zero YouTube.